Hi there. Thanks for watching. I, uh, in my last Doula Adventure videos, um, the last two I think, I was talking about how to find a doula and the tough questions to ask. And in I think the last video I mentioned um, asking your potential doulas if they are involved in their community. And so I've had this great experience since then that's a, a perfect example of um, what that means, what that looks like, and why you would want a doula who is um, involved in the greater community outside of the birthy world. So a couple weeks ago um, in our area, I know this is kind of still the season for other other places, um, it's back to school time. So older kids are getting ready to go back to school, school age kids I should say, um, are getting ready to go back to school. And um, why does that have to do with doulas? Well, because back to school time means um, different events happening for moms that are focused on moms and families. And one of those events happened here recently. Um, it was a back to school, um, back to fit workout for moms in the community. In St. Pete, there's a, a business called Baby Boot Camp, and Christy Bruner Williamson um, is the owner of Baby boot camp in St. Pete and she hosts this great event that's mom centered, mom focused. The kids go back to school and about a week afterwards she hosts this free community workshop or workout um, along with a mom's marketplace and as soon as I heard about it I was on board and I thought what a great idea. Um, what a great way to celebrate moms being able to have time for themselves to take care of themselves once again. Um, you know, after the summer, during the summertime, you know, moms can be wrapped up in um, kids getting their their summer camp schedules in order and play dates and vacations and all those kind of things. So I know from my own personal experience and um, that when it's back to school time, it's kind of back to mom time as well. You have the, the freedom of knowing that your kids are in school for a certain number of hours every day and um, and that time can you can own that time again as a woman and a mom and so when Christy uh, announced this event it was her fourth year doing so um, I just got excited and I thought I want to be there I want to be there as a doula I don't know how to do a tabling event um, in the marketplace. I know moms are going to come with their, their pocketbooks and, and wanting to buy cute, fun, helpful things for around the house or accessories or whatnots. Um, but I don't have any of that. I'm a birth doula. I help women during pregnancy um, and, and beyond um, on their learning curve into parenthood. So I thought, gee, well, what do I do? I don't like the normal table events um, where you know there's information, there's the same graphics, the same pictures, the same statistics. Um, to me, that's just really uninspiring. So I created a mom's corner and I thought, oh gosh, this is gonna be kind of weird and silly and stupid and people aren't gonna, it's not gonna resonate, it's not gonna make sense. They're just gonna walk by and they're not gonna, nobody's gonna stop and talk to each other or to me. Well, boom, that's not what happened at all. I came, I had my little eight by eight foot section and um, it actually turned out that I had three sections because my, my two business neighbors next door to me, I don't know who they were, they weren't there, didn't show up. Um, so I was able to open up the space. I had one space that I used just for stroller parking. Um, the event was around, was centered around a workout um, with kids in the strollers and moms working out, engaging with the kids. Um, so I knew everyone was going to have a stroller there that had a baby there that was working out. So one of my neighbor's empty spaces I turned into stroller parking. Um, and then I took over the other two spaces and I created a living room atmosphere. Comfortable chairs, um, diffusers, essential oil diffusers for aromatherapy in the air. I don't know that anybody noticed it um, exactly, but, but they liked it. They came, they sat, they relaxed, um, and that's what I really wanted them to connect with. I wanted them to have some time for themselves um, so they didn't have to feel like they had to be moving around at this event. They didn't feel like they had to keep moving or hide out even to feed their babies. Um, 
mine was the only place in the whole facility other than the floor to sit and just be with your baby. Um, so I had moms do that and and it was really special. They connected with each other. I saw moms just coming in just to spend time with their, their own babies individually. Um, other moms came by to um, ask questions um, of me as a doula, what to do in the early stages of pregnancy for nausea, um, how to find a doula. Um, of course, I gave them my number and we keep in touch, but uh, you know, there's a right doula for every family who's looking for one. But at this event, um, it was a really great way to learn what women um, need. And sometimes if you're a doula who is not involved in your community, you miss out. And what's even a bigger opportunity is to connect with other professionals who are focused and centered around mother care, um, taking care of moms in all their different phases and stages of um, motherhood. So you want a doula who's involved in the community outside of the birthing community. Yes, it's nice that we know our other birth professionals. We can send you referrals and references for locations and healthcare providers and other service providers um, for pregnancy in the, the first year of postpartum after birth time. Um, but what's more is being able to connect with the community on a larger scale. So um, you wanna find a doula who can do that. Um, yeah, and that's one way to do it. Is, uh, is or that's one example of how a doula can interact with her community um, to get out of the birthing world and um, really connect with, with everyone involved. So hopefully that uh, helps you, helps clarify one of the points in my other doula day adventures and uh, keep an eye out for some more videos because some pretty cool things have happened recently with clients. Um, really great learning opportunities. So I'll share those in, in some other videos later. Thank you.